there and what is going on guys? It's a bad luck HD here and today I'm gonna be but anyway here we are with part two so without further ado let's get started and again for the blocks you'll be needing you need black concrete, grey concrete, light grey wool, grey wool and light grey terracotta and if you have already filled in mine's not filled in I'm, I'm gonna do my filling in at the end to make things easier and we're gonna fly up to we're gonna fly up to let's see where should we fly up to let's fly up to the top block here so we're gonna fly up to this block right here now once we are flying up to here we're going to take out our black concrete as per usual and we're going to start off by doing an up right diagonal just like so and then we're going to do another up right diagonal place one on top and then we're going to do three more lots of what we've just done right here so up right diagonal one on top that's one two and three and there we go so in total that should be four so one two three four as you can see we've done four so we're going to be moving on to the next part so again fly back up to here and we're going to do three upright diagonals so one two and three on this third one we're going to place one on top we're going to do another upright diagonal place another one on top we're then going to do another two i mean three upright diagonals so one two and three and again place one on top so exactly the same as there but this time we're going to do one upright diagonal and we're going to do another upright diagonal and place one on top just like so then we're going to do another upright diagonal and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and we're going to place one to the right just like so and we're going to do two more lots of what we've just done right here so upright diagonal one to the right that's one and two so so far we should look like this just a quick review of what we've done and once you've done that and you go through it correctly just fly back over to these two here and once you've flown back to these two do an upright diagonal and place two to the right just like so and do another upright and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and we're going to place two to the right and do another upright diagonal and place one to the right just like so then do another upright diagonal we're going to place three to the right so one two three and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and place one to the right then do another upright diagonal place another one to the right just like so and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and place three to the right again like so and then another upright diagonal and then we're going to place two to the right and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and we're going to place another two to the right and then another upright diagonal and then another upright diagonal and again three to the right just like so and then we're going to do another up right diagonal and another three to the right and then do another up right diagonal place one to the right and do another up right diagonal and we're going to place four to the right so one two three four and do another up right diagonal and then we're going to do another up right diagonal and place one to the right repeat this here so do another up right one to the right there we go and then another up right diagonal and then we're going to place three going to the right so one two three and then we're going to do another up right diagonal and place one to the right and do another up right diagonal place two to the right just like so and we're going to repeat this here two times so up right two to the right up right two to the right there we go three in total so so far our build should be looking like this so we have we've got a bit quick I'm trying to basically get through this as quick as possible at the moment so apologies if i'm going too quick but once you have done this, we're going to fly back over to where we left off, which is right over here. And once we're back over here, we're going to do an upright diagonal. 
And once you've done that upright diagonal, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And we're going to place three going to the left. So one, two, three. And then another up left. And place one to the right. And then another up right diagonal. One to the right. I think I said up left there, but I meant right. So, yeah, you see what I've done. And you probably know what I meant anyway, but it should look like this so far. I'm not so sure if I did say that or not, but this is what it should look like. Once you've done this, fly over to here. We're going to do an up right. And I'm going to place two to the right. Then we're going to do another up right. And then we're going to place three to the right. So one, two, three. And then we're going to place one underneath. Well, we're going to go underneath and move one. Move in one to the left and place one underneath this block here. So, we should look like that. And I think to make things easy as possible, we are literally going to go to move all the way down here. So, we're going to move back all the way to the end. And once we move to the end, we're going to do an up right diagonal, just like so. And we're going to go 26 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And uh, there we go. Once you've done 26, we're going to do an up right diagonal, plus 1 to the right. And we're going to repeat this four more times. So, repeat these two right here four more times. So, upright, one to the right. There's one, two, three, and four. And now we're literally just going to do single upright diagonals, literally all the way to the end. And we sh so we got all, we got a lot to do basically. Very much a lot to do. I may just skip ahead and cut out. So if you want, you can pause. Oh, there we go. Um, I, I did realize that accidentally that you are meant to go one more down from the top. So he didn't go wrong here, do not worry, you don't have to delete all this, and you're probably wondering, oh, there's a gap, yeah, that's my bad, you just one underneath here, and, well, there you go, and now you're finally finished, you're, couldn't be, well, I say finally finished, it's, it's not actually finally finished, because we've got quite a bit of shading to do, but as I said, like, it's not complicated, this build too bad, this part may get a slightly bit more tricky though, but it should be good. Back down to the bottom here. So we're going to go back down to the bottom. And once we have got back to the bottom, we're going to start in this section here. So this section actually, we can see a bit where the shade and, and you can see these diagonals here. We're going to go down three. So one, two, three. And on the third one, so right here, place one to the right, and then we're going to do place like a bomb right here. You can just place one to the right and one underneath, but there you go, it should look like that. Place one on top here, one to the right here, one in the middle, one to the top, one to the right. And now I'm just going to basically explain the shading, how it's going to work. So... Grey concrete is going to be inside here, on the right hand side. This is just going to be all filled with grey concrete, I'm just going to finish this quickly. And there you go, that's grey concrete, and then this other side is going to be grey wool. So again, just fill in the upper hand left side, and the bottom right side is going to be grey concrete, and upper left is going to be grey wool. So, right, now once you've done this, I don't know if you noticed, but it probably will be a bit, but basically, I've actually decided to do change what i just done. So basically, I just deleted all what i done inside there, which was probably another like 20 to 30 minutes, but I basically just deleted that. I'm going to keep this in here. 
Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to make things a bit easier for us, and I'm actually going to outline with the grey wool instead. So what I was doing is actually filling in the light grey while outlining it, and that just didn't work out. Or, it was just really messy, and I think it was going to be really hard for everyone, basically, to follow what was going on. So in the end, I decided, I'm just going to delete it, cut it out, I'm going to redo it, and I'm going to do it a different way. So, again, it's nothing to worry about, it's just I basically restarted to make things easier. So, without further ado, let's actually get into what we're going to do. So, we're going to take our grey wall, and we're going to place one here, we're going to place two inside here, and we're going to place one to the right, just like so. Then what we're going to do, we're going to do an up, right diagonal. And make sure you break your blocks. Because I could do an up, right diagonal like that, and that would be fine, but if I did it just like I did there, you want to make sure you break it. Just want to say that for all your right diagonals, we're going to be doing with our grey ball and stuff, make sure you break the block. But without further ado, let's move on to what we were doing. So, do an up, right diagonal, and place one to the right, just like so. We're going to do another upright diagonal, and we're going to do another upright diagonal. Place another one to the right, and there we go. So far, we should be looking like this. And now, once we've done this, we're going to move back over to here. So these two right here. And we're going to do another upright diagonal. Place another one to the right. And then, do another upright diagonal. And do another upright diagonal and plus another one to the right. Just like so. And we should so far again we should be just looking like this. And once you've done this, flip back over. Do another upright diagonal. And then another upright. And build one to the right. Just like so. Then do another upright diagonal. And then another upright. Place one to the right. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, plus another one to the right. And then, from here, we're going to do three upright diagonals. So, one, two, and three. And on this third one, place one on top. Then we're going to do four up left diagonals. So, one, two, three, and four. And on the fourth one, we're going to place one on top. We'll do another up left diagonal, place another one on top. And then another up left diagonal, and then another up left, so just place it in that corner there, and there we go. Done that little section. So this section, all inside here, will be grey wall. And let's keep let's keep building with the grey wall, for now. And we're going to move to here, where we place the grey wall here. And if you want, you can take out your light grey wall, and you place one there, one to the right, and one up. And then take out your grey wall, and place one to the right, and one down, and then do bottom right. Diagonal, and there you go. So, you can see basically your light grey is going to be going in here and connecting there. And, once you have done this, we're going to do another two bottom right diagonals from here. So, one. And two. Now place one underneath your second one, just like so. Then, do another bottom right. And we're going to do another bottom right. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And place one underneath, just like so. And then we're going to do another bottom right diagonal. And then we're going to do an upright diagonal. And we're going to place... Two to the right, so one, two. And then another upright diagonal, place another one to the right. And then another upright diagonal. And then another upright diagonal. And we're going to place another one to the right. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then another upright, and place another one to the right. And we're going to do two more lots of what we've just done, so two more of these. So upright, one to the right, another upright. Another one to the right. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and then another upright diagonal, place one to the right, just like so. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and another upright, and again, place one to the right. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal, and then another upright diagonal, oh, 
place one to the right. And then do another upright diagonal and place another one to the right. We're then going to do another upright diagonal. And then another upright and again place one to the right. Just like so. And we're going to do two more lots of what we've just done here. So. One. And two. There you go. We're then going to do another upright diagonal. And then another upright. Place one to the right. And then we're going to do three more lots of these right here. What we've just done. So one. And two. And three. Once you've done these three, we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then another upright. And then place one to the right, just like so. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then another upright diagonal and place one to the right. Do another upright diagonal. And place another one to the right. And then we're going to do three upright diagonals. So, one, two, and three. And then we're going to place one to the right on the third one, just like so. And then another upright diagonal. And then from here, once we're here, we're going to do another upright diagonal and place two to the right. And then we're going to do another upright, so you can just place it in the corner, another upright here. And then from here, you're going to place two to the right. And then we are basically done with our grey wall for there. And now we're going to start with our grey concrete. Mm, where to start is the question. Uh, we might as well start at the top while we're here, I guess. Actually, you no, know, let's go to the bottom. Screw the top and let's go to the bottom. I kind of sounded wrong. Oh well. Right, so. We're going to move over to the bottom here. So the very bottom. And where we're going to start off with the bottom, we're going to see these three coming down here. So where we actually... Place our grey wall on top, right here. We're gonna place, we're gonna place three light grey wall down, going up. And then we're gonna place one grey concrete to the right on the bottom one, just like so. And once we've done that with our grey concrete, you can place one underneath as well, just if you want to make things look a bit easier for you. I don't know if that makes things easier or not, but regardless, I'm just gonna do it. And then we're going to do three upright diagonals for our grey concrete. So one, two, three. And then place one to the right. And do another upright diagonal. And then do another upright. And place another one to the right. And then do another upright diagonal. And place another one to the right. Then do another upright diagonal. Another upright. And then place one to the right. And again, do another upright diagonal. And then another upright diagonal. And place one to the right. Now we're going to do two more lots of these right here. So, upright diagonal. One to the right, that's one. That's two. And again, that should be three in total. So, one, two, three. And once you're flowing back up to here, we're going to do an upright diagonal. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. We're going to place one to the right. And do another upright diagonal. Place another one to the right. And then from here, we're going to place one underneath, and then do a one right diagonal. And as you can see, it's kind of—it's actually kind of like shaped like a sword inside, but it's actually just like the uh, the shading area. But anyway, once you've done that, fly back over to here, and we're going to do another bottom right, just like so. We're going to place two underneath. And then we're going to do three bottom right diagonals. So one, two, and three. Just like so. Now on this third one, we're going to place one underneath and then do another bottom right. Place another one underneath, just like so. And do another bottom right diagonal. And another bottom right diagonal. And place one underneath. And do another bottom right. And just place two underneath so it connects to the ground. Just like so. And then we're going to we'll take out our light grey wall and place two to the right just like so. And take out your grey concrete and place one top of this black concrete right here. 
and place another two going up just like so and then we're going to do an up left diagonal from here so up left and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and we're going to place two on top and then do another up left diagonal and then we're going to do another up left diagonal place one on top and then do another up left diagonal so so far we should be looking like this and then we're going to do another up left diagonal and place one on top then do another up left diagonal place one on top and do another up left diagonal and then once we've done this we're going to do another up left diagonal and we're going to place two on top so one two and from here we're going to place two going to the right so one two and then do an up right diagonal just like so once you've done this we're going to place another one to the right and do another upright diagonal and place another one to the right and then we're going to do another upright diagonal and then another upright diagonal place another one to the right just like so and then we're going to do three more lots of what we've just done so another upright one to the right another upright one to the right that's two and three there you go once you've done three we are going to do another three upright diagonals so one two and three once we've done another third one, place one to the right. And then we're going to do two upright diagonals, so one and two. And then place one to the right. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal. Then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And place one to the right. So, so far we should look like this. And now, once we've done this, we're going to fly back over here. And we're going to do two more lots of what we've just done here. So, an upright. One to the right, another upright, one to the right, that's two. And then we're going to do another upright diagonal. And then we're going to do another upright, place one to the right. We're going to do another upright diagonal. And place another one to the right. And then do another upright diagonal, place another one to the right. And again, do another upright diagonal and place another one to the right. And do another upright diagonal, then another upright diagonal. Place one to the right. Then do another up right diagonal. And then another up right diagonal. Place one to the right. And do another up right diagonal. Place another one to the right. And then another up right diagonal. And then one to the right. And then another up right diagonal. And then another up right diagonal. And then another up right diagonal. <laughs> then one to the right. And then we're going to do another up right diagonal. One to the right, another up right diagonal. One to the right, another up right diagonal. One to the right. Then we're going to do another up right diagonal. Oh. One to the right, another up right diagonal. And another up right diagonal. And then another up right diagonal. One to the right, another up right diagonal. One to the right, another up right diagonal. And then another right diagonal. One on top. And well. There we go. Oh, and there we go. We are done. As you can see though. We're not actually done yet. There is a couple of things we got to do. So. Let's explain the things we got to do first. Overall. So. As you can see. Inside here. It's going to be all grey concrete. So we're just going to fill all this in. With grey concrete. Inside here. It's going to be light grey wool. In between the grey concrete and the grey wall. If you're going to do one. Like filling in here. I would recommend doing the light grey first. Just because. Sometimes you actually don't need. I've done it before as well myself. Is when building. You might sometimes go over. So if I'm using my grey concrete. I might go over this sometimes. Like so. And you don't want to do that. Well because it's just not meant to be there. And sometimes you even do it in the air gaps. So I would recommend doing the light grey first, just to make things easier. And the light grey just goes in between all of it, up to the top, down here, down there. And again, here is going to be grey concrete as well, all inside here. As I said again, this is all light grey inside here. And on the other side, as you probably already know, is going to be grey wall. And again, exactly the same on this side here as well, which is just going to be grey wall. 
And if you have or haven't done this already, inside here is going to be light grey terracotta. Just all inside of here. And if you've already done that or haven't done that, moving on to here, is going to be black concrete inside here. And this part is, again, as I said before, it's just going to be thin air. So, black concrete. All of this is light grey, terracotta, grey concrete, grey concrete, light grey all inside, grey wall. And, well, that's about it. And now I'm going to see you guys in about two seconds with it all done. So you can pause the video at the end just to make sure this is what it looks like. So, I'll see you guys in a second. Right, <sighs> boom, <laughs> there we go, we are. We're finally done for it in, as I said, probably around two seconds. Yeah, that's all it took to fill in, you know, just speedy with the hands. <laughs> in reality, though, it did take about, uh, goddamn, 30, 40 minutes. But here we go, here we go, there is the end result of our canoe knife. Which, again, <laughs> no idea if I'm pronouncing that correctly. But overall, I think the design has, looks very nicely, and looks very good. I do think, though, that th this design could have been maybe better done. Maybe not so much the design, or more the tutorial part. Because, well, I haven't said it in this video, but as I said in the previous video, I explained why I wasn't recording. I am currently ill at the moment while recording this video. I'm not, like, majorly ill, but I am ill to some certain extent, so it's... It was a bit hard for me to record this. But I wanted to get a video up, because I haven't uploaded in ages, because I... I've been so busy and all sorts of other stuff, but again, okay, I'm not going to explain too much because that's already been explained within a minute. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this build and you have completed it and enjoyed this tutorial, and if you're just here to pause the video so you know where everything's placed, then, then you guys can carry on doing the build, but I'm going to be heading off. So, again, pause the video now if you do want to actually fill in and just so you can see all the colours. Without further ado, I'm going to get lost. And again, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button, leave a like, and I'll see you next time.